in my last batch because um, I normally get the regular size sticks of butter. And I looked at these without actually reading it, which you should always do read everything. Um, this is actually a stick of butter. It's just fatter, smaller and fatter. So when I bake them for work and I look at the oven, they will totally flat. So I wound up buying 60 cookies from a bakery. It sent me back a little bit of money because uh, I was part of some bake thing at work. No, no worries. So uh, I guess we'll have more cookies for home and the family. You want to make sure you use unsalted butter at room temperature. So while we hi. cut up, hi Ella. So while we cut up our half a cup of walnuts, we're going to try to get this to room temperature. Now, this is my first time using this chopper. Got it off some auction site. And last time I used a knife and it took much longer. So I found this. It's one of those impulse buys that you buy and you leave it in the <clears throat> cabinet for a while. Well, but I have it now. You're gonna need 48 of them. What? That's what I do. I just line up that black and black. This is so much easier than using a knife. Look at that. Yeah, it's good enough. I always unplug it before you're dealing with any type of blade. Always unplug first. These things are very sharp. You never know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, that's pretty much the consistency we're looking for. That came out perfectly. Um, it's actually three quarters of a cup in the recipe. I'm going to leave a description of the recipe below. Um, but so yeah, this worked out perfectly. Look at that. I didn't have to waste any. All right, let's get this stuff. We have here. our two sticks of unsalted butter um, going to room temperature. If we wait for it to soften up, I'll show you the ingredients we need. Um, besides the two sticks of butter, you're going to need a half a cup of sugar, um, three quarters of a cup of finely chopped walnuts, one teaspoon of vanilla. I have this brand. Smell, as usual, it smells awesome. <laughs> two and a third cup of flour. We are using Bob's Red Mill unbleached all purpose organic flour. Uh, later on, we're going to have powdered sugar to put on top of the cookies and you're going to need approximately 48 kisses. You're going to have to take all the wrappers off, obviously. All right. So, um, hi guys. You're going to help daddy out today? Yeah. Excited? I can't wait. I hope they're so yummy. We're, 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 um, we're cooking cookies because we like to eat them. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. The butter continues to get at room temperature and softens. Uh, we're going to unwrap these. Might as well do it now and get it over with. 48 Hershey Kisses. Now, if you have extra dough at the end, you can definitely unwrap more. But this is what the recipe calls for. And that's what we're going to do. Oh, really? Really, really. I love Hershey Kisses. Me too. Do you love it, everyone? Comment down below.
soft by now. So we're just gonna add the sugar and cream it together. All right. And a uh, teaspoon of vanilla. Let's see if I could do that while I hold the camera. Oh boy. It's a tough one. There we go. Love the smell of vanilla. Now we bring this up. And here we go. We'll do that first. You know what? You should really have used the whisk first, but uh, that's okay. I'm gonna get that all together first. I'm gonna have to break the um, walnuts. That smells amazing. So I'm gonna lower this now because the flour is gonna make a little bit of a mess. Add a little at a, add half at a time. Makes it easy to mix. I'm gonna make this into a dough. Now, if you want, I'm gonna get a spatula, go on the sides, push it all down, and then turn it back on. I decided to use the whisk instead. It's not like a pizza dough. You know, I'd probably be better with a hand mixer, but uh, we're gonna just do it this way. I mixed it really well. I should have waited a little bit longer for the uh, butter to melt, but it doesn't matter. Look, as long as you take it out and you do it by hand now, make sure your hands are nice and clean. It turns into this dough. I got nervous, it looked like breadcrumbs, but it's turning into a dough now. Just gotta push it together. It's actually really good, unlike the first one I did, where I put double the butter by accident, and it was all greasy. This is like really good consistency. See that? I'm gonna keep working this and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so that's the dough we're gonna use. All right, some residual stuff I'm gonna throw back in there. I wanted to show you a couple toys I got. I got this for later when we put the powdered sugar on because I didn't have one. My mother used to have an old one you cranked. I think she still has it. I got that one. I got this nice, beautiful, heavy pan made in the USA. And uh, because I don't want to ruin it yet, I'm going to throw some of this. If you go to Costco, you can get two of these boxes. It lasted me uh, le over a year. I'm still, like, using this. So you put a piece of parchment paper under it. And it, you know what? You won't have to clean it. I mean, a very light cleaning. You won't have to scrub it. So um, let's get this party started. All right. So let's get this party started. All right, make, like, a little thing. Throw the kiss in there. And you want to make like a little mountain over the kiss. Like so. Okay. And you can make it look pretty. You don't have to. But let's do the best we can. See that? Like a little mountain. And that's why it's a surprise kiss. You don't know what's in there until you eat it. And then you want to, you want to space them out. I would say like two inches from each other. And that's it. All right, let's do it. All right, filled this pan. I still have a little extra dough. I might have to open some more kisses. Uh, I am a little afraid that they're too close, but I'm gonna roll the dice and see what happens. If I have more room in here, we'll just throw some in there. Okay. I'll preheat the oven to 375. And that's when the magic will happen, guys. We're gonna put these in the oven for 10 minutes till the top is golden brown. You don't wanna overdo it because then the kisses will, um, the kisses will melt. So, see you in 10 minutes, guys. I'm gonna throw those in there too. Beeping, let's see. 
<laughs> All right, a little bit longer. So even though it's 10 minutes, every oven's different. It's not golden brown yet. Two more minutes, we'll look at it. I uh, cooked it for another three minutes. This oven is different than other ovens. It smells good. Smells good in here? Yeah. All right, now we gotta... That's the cookies, but we gotta let these... These are not done yet, the ones in that pan. Uh -oh. We, we gotta let these cool off before we sprinkle them with the powdered sugar. Beautiful. It's all cooled down now, and now we add the awesome powdered sugar with this new tool I got. Let's see how it works out. Ready? Let me see your uh, hat from Ireland. But what wow. street is that? Zoe. Zoe? Oh, the carol is. Roswell. It's tradition that you don't. He is with his hat on. Hi, Sebs. <laughs> kind of shaking. Cookie now? Go ahead. Now it's time for the tasting. I know how you, I'll be honest, I want your total honesty. Good.